Welcome to Whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of Whiskey.com. This is my son, Ben, the master taster. And today we have a real classic here on our cask, a Beaumont 12 years of age. And I know this whiskey for 35 years already. Yeah, so this is <laughs> definitely uh, an old one, not from the age of, on the uh, label, but uh, from the presence the big presence on the market. It's priced below 30, so it's quite cheap or relatively cheap. It has 40% ABV for the mass market. And uh, I think you really find it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do have a connection with Beaumont as well. Unfortunately, I've never been into the Beaumont <laughs> distillery. Like I've been in there in the tasting room and spoken to the people and had an interview and everything. But I've never been into the production area. I had been in the still room. Yeah, I've seen the pictures. And my wife had been in the legendary uh, warehouse number one, where the water drops uh, from from the wall, where the sea stands above the level of the casks. Mm. So my wife made it into, but uh, <laughs> not me. Sorry, uh, because she was there with all our employee staff. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a short vacation over there and I had to to keep <laughs> the <laughs> presence here. Yeah, yeah. bad luck. <laughs> I used to have a, a Beaumont 18 even when I started with the whiskey and that was kind of my favorite. A lot of people really, really love the Beaumont 15. Beaumont 12 is also really good. So what is your favorite Beaumont? Write it down in the comments. Everybody has a favorite Beaumont who watches these videos. <laughs> <laughs> so the specialty of Beaumont is that you have a Isla whiskey with all the intensity, but not the extreme smoke as other Isla whiskies have. So the the big well-known Isla whiskies have 40, 45, 50 ppm of smoke in the malt, which is delivered to the distillery. Beaumont just has 35. So it has just a little bit less, but uh, in contrast to others, uh, they always use Oloroso sherry cast for the maturation. There are very few other casks in the distillery, in the warehouses, because up to the year 2000, uh, they had a bulk whiskey business for the blend whiskey industry. And then they made a rough cut and said, no more bulk whiskey, we just keep to single malt. And this was a hefty decision because sales dropped a lot. And they had to recover over several years. And uh, well, now uh, the ages of the whiskey rise slowly, but steadily. Uh, and the prices of the whiskeys rise, not steadily, but extreme <laughs> <laughs> for the older ones. So it's a famous distillery because it's one of the oldest in Scotland, uh, uh, dating back to 1779. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't uh, uh, under the ban of the uh, Scottish kings or the British kings uh, not to produce single malt whiskey because they were not in Great Britain but in the United Kingdom, so <laughs> the Kingdom of the Isles and uh, therefore they were allowed to produce and the taxman <laughs> came by ship so uh, everything was okay for the king. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the bottle of the Beaumont changed uh, around the year 2000 something I think um, and uh, now the bottle got uh, taller and I talked to the uh, marketing people then those years uh, and they said well they wanted to be one of the highest bottles so if you look to the new yep, <laughs> and that's the Beaumont. Yeah, which, which I don't <laughs> quite like because they don't fit in onto my shelf. I think there are many people out there who have the similar problem uh, that you have these bottles that are just a bit too high and they just don't they fit. Just don't <laughs> fit. <Yeah. laughs> that's the same for the whiskey collectors where they have the one liter bottle. And the yeah. one liter was always too high, so they prefer the 0.7 or 0.75 liter bottle. And here there's a very small specialty. I talked of the warehouse number one, the vault number one. And here on the top says number one vaults. So it's not the vault number one because Beaumont 12 years old is a million seller 
the warehouse is far too small for all those whiskeys. Mm -hmm. So they are matured further up the hill in the other warehouses. Uh, so this is not from the number uh, vault number one. <laughs> it can't be. The, the it can't is, be. But here <laughs> the they say they do. <laughs> <laughs> Boma is home of the world's oldest Scotch maturation warehouse. The legendary number one vaults. Yes, the home. Ah. <laughs> Some of the world's most uh, con convited, con converted single molds have been meticulously matured here, steeped in more than 230 years of heritage. Du, 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 du. No, it doesn't say it comes from number one. <laughs> no, it can't. The amount is just too big. Home of the number of vaults. <laughs> it's home of the number one vaults. <laughs> That's, a, that's a, uh, written around the fact that. So I like the, the smell of the Bomo very much because it's not that stinky smoky, but mm -hmm. it's very pleasant smoky. Citrus note, sweet smoke, very gentle very welcoming i can still remember as i was a beginner that was a very puzzling whiskey for me because it, it was um was it smoky was it uh, sherry was it sweet and the answer is both mm -hmm. and yeah it is it has a nice smoke of bonfire and cherries sherries in it no more sherry than cherries mm -hmm. And it's just um, beautiful, yeah. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. It was a little hard for this whiskey on my tongue just now because before we had a fifty percent ABV whiskey on the tongue, so it was a little weak on the tongue. But as soon as it I flowed around mm. in my mouth, uh, this uh, smoke built up, the cladding came, the mouth watering of the sherry casks came, dark chocolate in the light aftertaste, uh, very elegant, very friendly, very gentle. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that, that is Bomo. It's a, a pleasant, gentle, smoky, whiskey and it has that smokiness really really cut out for it because the smokiness is mm, i would say intense but not too strong the the isla whiskies are usually known to be rough and marine and everything but this one has a bit of a, a chocolate theme going on it's warm it's it has that sherry touch to it it has that bonfire note to it that kind of has some familiar familiarity with everybody and that's just a, a nice mixture yeah with the second sip it just builds up you don't miss uh, a higher abv mm -hmm. um and this chocolate note grows bigger yeah mm -hmm. so this is a well sipping whiskey be mm -hmm. careful not to get too much of it mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's it's surprisingly easy to sip yeah yeah easy sipping whiskey mm -hmm. it's but just now has a mouthful really big one. good good amount of uh flavor but not overwhelming that's that's how a, a good scotch whiskey has to be made so yeah yeah that was our take with the bowmore 12. thank you very much for watching and see you next time